Um, now, that's not the most common um, application of electromagnetic wave. Aside from light and lasers, the most common application of electromagnetic wave is radio waves. Um, that's uh, sort of ubiquitous, you see it everywhere. Um, I guess especially if I include microwaves by radio wave, because your cell phone works on microwave frequency. Uh, later. Um, so this is a simulation that kind of illustrates what that radio wave looks like, or the generation of radio wave. Um, so you imagine this as the, the radio station, and this as your receiver. This is uh, how uh, radio kind of schematically works. The, uh, something in the transmitter wiggles the electron in the um, transmitter, and this wiggling, it produces this wave of electric field that wiggles the um, electrons in your receiving um, um, thing. And I guess this shows curved vectors. Let me show you the full field, that's the fun one. Uh, so that's what the full field electromagnetic, electric field looks like. So it's only showing the time varying component because if I have charge here, there'll be, you know, because, you know, but antenna is electrically neutral. So that's why when, as I, this single charge just moves up and down, there will be change in the electric field. And that's what this is showing. It's showing those changes, both in terms of the one components that's pointing away from this charge, that's the static field, and what's called radiated field. And, oh wait, sorry, it's only showing the radiated field. So this is the static field. So as I, move it up and down, you see the static field changing, right? And you know, that static field, its magnitude doesn't really change, regardless of how fast this moves. And it goes down pretty quickly. But the radiated field, when you look at the radiated field, that its magnitude depends on how quickly I'm shaking it. And it doesn't really die down all that quickly. It takes a, it travels a very far distance. So I thought I could actually put this on oscillate. Um, okay, I want it to want to put it on relatively small amplitude, relatively larger frequency. So this is what um, electromagnetic wave um, radiated the field from this looks like. As a, so if you track a particular arrow of a particular height, you see it traveling across, right? And um, if on the other hand, if you're looking at a single point, the electric field is oscillating up and down. And this oscillating up and down field is what's shaking this. And you know, um, it, this operates on the carrier frequency of 98.7 megahertz. And when you tune your uh, receiver circuit so that it's uh, in resonance with this carrier frequency, then you would receive the signal. And the way signal is encoded, it's a whole another matter, uh, frequency modulated versus amplitude modulated. Um, everyone here knows about electromagnetic spectrum? Yes? Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm kind of out of time anyway. So, you know, this falls in the kind of on the lower end of the spectrum. As you go higher, you get microwave, infrared, visible, ultraviolet, X rays, and then gamma rays. All those are electromagnetic waves. The only difference being the frequency. Is it uh, slow? Mo slower frequency or is it higher frequency? Yeah. So, you know, that's the subject of physics 4C. You, we spend a lot more time dealing with electromagnetic waves um, and optics. <laughs> um, but for the purpose of this class, I think this is where we wrap up. This is all the topics we have time for. And on Wednesday, we will uh, spend the time on exam review. <laughs>